Hey guys, uh, so the next Creative Clash of Clans project I'm going to be working on is going to be the Witch's Staff and yeah I've been looking forward to doing this one because it's it's going to be quite a challenge and I do love a challenge and as you see I've got some reference images online and I've done a few sketches so I can understand the concept a bit better when I build it I will be building it with a uh, card and doing paper mache and yeah all things you're gonna need as you see I've got some card already cut out all nice and neat and ready to go for myself got some PVA glue and a brush I've uh, got a, a scalpel uh, box cutter uh, knife kind of thing some scissors if you prefer some ripped up newspaper for your paper mache I've uh, got some masking tape for putting the main structure of the boxes together and obviously some paint you will need. Also I have got a few old toilet roll thingies and they're, they're going to be for the horns basically to kind of shape them but I'll get to that when I get to it. And yeah so I'm literally going to be winging this, there's no design for me to follow apart from my drawings I've done. So I'm literally going to be building it as I go and making it up basically. So what I'll be doing, I'll be cutting out shapes of my cardboard, sticking them together and just basically making the basic structure and shape of the actual head. And then I'll be working on the horns as a separate little project on the side as I said with the toilet roll holders and yeah so I'll be using an old broomstick stick for the actual staff itself so we, we won't need to worry about that just yet but we will need to make sure we get a hole on the bottom for it to go in so yeah, I'll, I'll get started building a frame for the head. I'll get on with that in a minute and I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so you can see I've done the basic structure and you probably agree it's looking awesome. You can see I've left the top part where the horns are going, so I haven't quite figured out what to do there yet. Uh, for the eye sockets, I'm basically going to scrunch up some paper and I'm going to build this up with the paper mache and yeah, the, the, I'll just attach those like that. and. Yeah, as I say, after building all this up with paper mache, this is going to take a bit more of a shape to it. But yeah, this is the basic structure you see inside. So I've got one loop there, one loop there to help the strength of it. And yeah, so far so good. Uh, so next stage is to work on the horns. Uh, get these eye sockets done and once I've done the horns I can start paper mache in then and start giving it a bit more of a shape to it and pretty much sculpt it if you like uh, so yeah I'll get on with that in a minute and I'll show you the results in a sec
Okay, so that's the main job done, really. Uh, you can see I've added a tourable tube here. Um, that's basically just a slip on the actual s stick itself. Um, so I'm going to reinforce that with uh, paper mache. And yeah, looking good. Uh, the horns turned out pretty well. Better than I expected. And got good shape, good size. The eye sockets, you know, got good cheekbones to him. And yeah, so next stage is paper mache. And yeah, this should be a fun stage. Nice and messy. And yeah, pretty much sculpting. Uh, I'm building up the layers now and really, really strengthening it. Uh, you've got to be sure to really strengthen the paper mache, you know, five, six, seven layers around the horns. Um, build up these eye sockets a bit better, more shape in the actual mouth. Um, loads of layers of paper mache here because this is going to be the main support for to go just slip on and off the stick and yeah um, I'll start paper mache in and I'll show you the results in a sec Okay, so that's the majority of the paper mache done. Uh, as you see, it's looking pretty cool, eh? Yeah, I let this dry, and then I'll see if it needs another layer on, depending on how stiff and rigid it is. Uh, but basically, yeah, this that's the majority of the paper mache done. You probably noticed in the time lapse clip that I did pay particular attention to this part. And that's purely because there's when you once you get your stick in there, it's going to be a lot of stress here. So you need to make sure that's all built up and nice and strong. So I've got quite a few layers there. Also, I've you know pushed in some layers inside to make it even stronger. But yeah, as I say, I let this dry and we'll see where to go from there. Okay, so all the paper mache is nice and dry now. Uh, so next stage is just painting basically, and we should be closer to finish. Nice selection of colours here. I'll be mixing up. Uh, the main body of it is going to be like a bone colour, so it's going to be like white and a light grey. Uh, the horns, I believe, are kind of like a goldy, washed-out colour. Uh, but yeah, I'll get on painting and I'll show you the results in a second.
Okay, so that's the main paint job done. As you can see, I went for the rustic look. Uh, I chose that because the paper mache was quite rough, and you can see when you paint it over, it gives it a cool little texture. So it wasn't going to be perfect. So I went for the rustic kind of loose look, and once the acrylic once the acrylic paint is dry. I'll be touching it up with uh, smaller brushes, doing a little finer detail, uh, bringing out the eye sockets a bit more, bringing out the nose, um, this mouth area. It on the reference images for found online. This is normally blank, but I opted to do the kind of skull uh, mouth look. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, but I'm not sure on that yet. I don't know if I will paint over that and get rid of it, leave it blank like they are online. But as I say, I'll, I'll look into that. And yeah, basically, uh, once this is dry, I'll get my black permanent marker, do a little finer details, drawing it in, and then I'll see if I can find a appropriate stick to mount it on. And yeah, it's, it's getting close closer to finish and it's looking pretty cool okay guys so there we have it the Clash of Clans witches staff goat head skull thing um, yeah I think it's turned out alright finished the paint job still a little bit wet at the moment as you can see I'm picking it up uh, I opted out of the uh, kind of skull teeth look and just went along with the reference images I found online and kept that blank so I think that's that looks alright and yeah it's turned out really well it's nice and sturdy it's strong uh, as you can see I've got the little hole thing there that supports you know if you want to put on a boom handle or a stick uh, and that's that's pretty strong you might remember I I worked a lot of paper mache in there to reinforce it and yeah I mean I went for the rustic look in painting it uh, it was never going to be perfect being uneven edges of the paper mache uh, I think it looks pretty cool it's kind of like a borderlands kind of feel to it and yeah that's how I made a Clash of Clans Witch's staff okay guys so yeah that's it thanks for watching a thumbs up would be awesome, and if you want to leave a comment, I'll do my best to reply, and, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next vid.